hello YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this is a long, long overdue update, okay? So basically, I'm gonna just jump right into it. So first things first, um, the last time I spoke to you guys was like November, December-ish. I'll go ahead and link that last update down below because, you know, there was things that were supposed to happen that I thought were gonna happen and didn't, this, that, and the third. So pretty much like I just really want to let you guys know that, you know, I moved again. So this is the third move <laughs> since I've been here in San Antonio. About the third like official move that I've done since I've been here in San Antonio. And uh, guys, like I'm so over moving. Number two update is that I got a new dog. You probably will hear him moving around, but he's in his... He's in his bed because he can't be running around. He likes to bark when I'm not talking to him. So, yeah, he's crazy. Um, but his name is Shiloh, and I will probably insert a picture or something of him so you guys can see him. But he is um, our new baby, and um, we got him in May. I actually got rid of my cats that you guys would see in some of my videos due to my pregnancy. Unfortunately, it didn't last. But I did get rid of them. I let them get um, adopted by a family who could really help them. So I don't have my kitties anymore. But I do have a dog. And he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So yeah. The next thing I guess I want to talk to you guys about is something that is exciting. But it's serious. I don't know about you guys. But being raised in a single parent home. A black family and whatnot. I never was really educated on, you know, debt management and, you know, different investments and things like that because my mother was a single parent. She worked her ass off to feed three children and to give us the best life that she possibly could. And I mean, basically most of the advice that I got from my mother was like, don't get um, credit cards, don't borrow money from anyone, like if you don't have it in cash, you don't need it. Like that's pretty much what she taught me and my siblings. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I decided that I wanted to go to college, this, that, and third. I didn't really have any money to go to college, so I got student loans issue number one so basically with me saying all of this it's not even only student loans that i have i have a car payment and all that other good stuff but on a debt free journey and i will actually do a video about that because i don't feel like there's enough young people especially young black people looking into finances looking into investing looking into be fucking millionaires on their own you know what i'm saying because there's a lot of people who want to be rappers or artists or you know what i'm saying athletes and whatnot not saying that that's a bad thing but you know you gotta have something to fall back on so for me personally i went ahead and got into the dave ramsey financial peace university if you're not religious it's okay he is a christian based you know financial advisor so he throws scriptures in every now and then but you don't have to listen to those it just gives you something to relate to i guess if you're a christian or if you're religious but his actual like steps and his advice is very 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 good it's like good sound advice he's not telling you anything off the wall some things that he says like makes me think like okay that's not realistic but at the end of the day it's doable like he's a multi-millionaire and he did it so basically you know me and Ashley have just been working towards being debt free and just trying to do everything that we can to be millionaires by the time it's time for us to retire and we don't have to worry about paying anyone anything but that's the next step so i will have some like debt free journey videos on here if you guys don't want to watch it you don't have to i'm not saying that that's something that you have to do but i want to show you guys like real numbers showing you guys like showing you literally that the debt is going away like things are being paid off all that good stuff so that is something that I'm committing to myself not only for the journey aspect but also just to help others because some people may not know how to start some people may not even heard of Dave Ramsey you know what I'm saying so I'm just trying to get the word out there um, I'm not paid by him or his company or anything like that it's just a really good program that I just truly want to spread the word about because I really want everyone to be well off and I don't want you know this vicious cycle of 
brown people or black people being considered poor or you know what I'm saying you have to be an athlete or a rapper or some shit for you to make it out or for you to actually have some money for your kids and your grandchildren you understand what I'm saying so that's pretty much where I'm at with that so I am on a financial journey next this is gonna get kind of sad but I just need to be vulnerable with you guys and I'm not gonna cry I promise because I like cried the last video like the last video I was talking but um pretty much guys like honestly like I miss YouTube so much I really miss sitting down in front of the camera making content whether it's freaking makeup whether it's talking about the military whether it's just vlogging just doing things I actually love and sharing it with the world so I do I miss you guys so much I really do miss YouTube I really miss seeing your comments and just getting your in, your input and your advice and just you know answering questions like I miss that so freaking much so I know that I vowed and I vowed and I vowed to do better and I vowed to post more but guys like ever since I was diagnosed with that ectopic pregnancy I don't know what has happened to me but I truly feel like I've been in a dark place like emotionally like my life my actual life is getting better um, work is absolutely incredible my friends my family everything is good everyone is healthy um, for the most part my, my relationship is going well I have a dog I have a new apartment like things are going well a part of me is just so sad and I'm still grieving over my loss and I just didn't think that it would be as emotional as it is and honestly guys like there have been days weeks where I haven't even felt like getting out of bed to go to work like I really considered going AWOL because like I just really could not muster up the courage to just get up like take a shower like you know what I'm saying just go to work but I mean of course I got up of course I'm not gonna go AWOL but like it's just the thought like damn like I don't want to do this shit like I don't want to do anything I just want to cry and think about my baby like that's pretty much it so I did post about five weeks ago it was a makeup tutorial before that it was about a month or maybe two before um, that when I posted that video about um, my ectopic pregnancy and all that good stuff so honestly like I've been getting counseling and I'm slowly but surely getting better I am that's why I'm sitting down today like this portion of what I'm talking about is truly what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I mean, of course, I want to tell you guys about the updates and all that other good stuff, but I just want to let you guys know that depression is real. Mental health is real. If you are feeling down, like truly down, and you cannot get yourself up, I recommend talking to someone that you trust. If you trust your parents, talk to your parents. If you trust your best friend, your partner, if you have resources to go to counseling, do that because... Honestly, if it wasn't for me going to counseling and, you know, me just talking to people that I know love me and care about me and encouraging me, like, I don't know what I would do, to be completely honest. And I just feel really bad for people who do not have anyone that they can talk to. So if you are in a position where you are feeling down and out, if you are just encountering, like, loss after loss or just bad thing after bad thing, like, bad event after bad event don't hesitate to hit me up like let me know that you just need someone to talk to you from my youtube and i will respond i always respond okay always so never forget that i just want you guys to know that i'm here for you and i know that if i was by myself i would want someone to tell me that who truly meant it and i truly truly mean it no one ever bothers me like just let me know that you just you just want to talk and I'm completely okay with that but yeah so I haven't really been motivated to film I haven't been motivated to do anything because it's like okay me getting in front of the camera I have to be happy I have to show energy and I have to try and attract people so they can like my content and like they can actually like ride with me I just want to help as many people as I can and if that makes my channel grow great if I stay a small channel I will be perfectly fine with that <laughs> but I just want to help as many people as I can I want to touch as many lives as possible because I know that there are people just like me out there and we can be best friends or there are people who are going through the things that I've been through or have gone through the things that I'm gonna go through and we can just help each other out like this is all about building each other up and helping each other out and that's all I'm about like that's why I started my channel was just to document my journeys and whatever I decide to do and to help people out whenever I can on a lighter note on a lighter note, 
on a lighter note i have decided officially to completely separate from the military it's not because i think the air force is bad it's not because i'm tired of the military it's just truly where i want my life to be the air force can't take me in the timely manner that i want it to be um it can take me there i mean the military in general there's a lot of good programs out there there are so many options but for me personally where I am where I want to be it is better for me to separate and follow my passion that way I will always advocate for the Air Force I will always support the Air Force I will be a proud Air Force veteran for the rest of my days it's just my time has come some people's times are shorter than others and my time was four years <laughs> so I have decided to completely separate and guys when I tell you I'm gonna be a full-time student so you want to know what all I'm gonna have to do is like housework and schoolwork and I'm gonna be filming just like how I was at the beginning how I was posting at least once a week I'm gonna be doing the same thing because I'm gonna have a lot more time on my hand I won't be working full-time and trying to go to school and trying to have a social life and all that other good stuff it's gonna be pretty much school you know and you guys in my social life so it's gonna be one less full-time thing that I'm gonna be trying to do and it's just gonna be so much better for me and I'm gonna have a space to actually film and it's just gonna be like where I want to be and what I want to do and I'll be able to be more consistent and all that good stuff not saying that I'm not gonna try and be consistent now um, but pretty much now it's just like wrapping up the loose ends of my enlistment and then moving on so yeah but I just wanted to come to you guys to let you know I'm still here I'm still living I'm in a bad place but I'm getting better and that's all that anyone can ask for is just to get better and to move forward and all that other good stuff so thank you guys so so much for watching I hope I didn't talk your heads off this video but I just really wanted to get this out here and I just want you guys to know that I'm still here you can still hit me up I'm still gonna post um, I can't promise you a schedule right now because I don't know but just be on the lookout so make sure you comment like and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time that I upload it's gonna be kind of irregular until I find me a nice little schedule and whatnot but as soon as I do you guys are gonna get sick and tired of me because I'm gonna upload <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one